The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. And it's for the All-Star Pro Wrestling Championship. This young man here is an incredible talent. You're looking at a superstar who started at the very bottom from a broken home, scratched, bit, scraped, and clawed his way to the top and has never looked back. Big match coming up here, Corey, as it's now time for Hell in a Cell. And when the bell rings, you can bet we'll witness carnage like we've never seen before. Introducing the challenger from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. Introducing the champion from Buenos Aires, Argentina, weighing in at 155 pounds, he is the All-Star Pro Wrestling Champion. Leo May Lee. If you didn't think about moving, you better apologize. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's oh, all you can do. And I think it's safe to say oh. that these competitors will never be the same after this Hell in a Cell match. Got him where he wants him. Oh, down. Falcon arrow. Incredible. a long way down. Up and face first, Flapjack. You gotta believe this one's over. Challenger's starting to falter. But he's the number one contender, and he's not going to let his opportunity slip away. If this is the only damage he walks away from this match with Cole, he should consider himself very lucky. But let's face it, that's just not going to happen. Not when you're inside the cell. As here's the cover. Strong gets the shoulder up! Definitely has his work cut out for him.
To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. He might have it. This is what makes him one of the best in the building. That's the impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Come on, Roderick Strong. You can do this. The champion into the cover. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Roddy won't allow this match to end. He's too determined. What's this? Driver! Oh, this could be bad. This, this could be really bad. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Just when you thought we were... This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, it's over. Come on. He's going for the pin. What a match. I mean, what an unbelievable match. What a victory. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Oh, I can't believe this. And I always enjoy watching him perform. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the All-Star Heavyweight Championship. Corey, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck.
Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Introducing the challenger from England, weighing in at 220 pounds, Jason Stud M. Introducing the champion from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 288 pounds. He is the All-Star Heavyweight Champion, David A. Don't change that dial. Here we go, folks. It's Hell in a Cell time. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Close line! Is that easily? Not yet. Ooh, what impact! Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. The challenger not in a great place. The number one contender is close to letting this one get out of control. He's oh, definitely man. hurting right now, Cole. But he knew exactly what he was getting into when he agreed to a match of this magnitude. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance. Boom! <laughs> Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Turns it around. 
Here it comes. Looking for the choke slam. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. When this guy's on, look out. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Gets out of the way of that one. Counter here. Oh, wow. kick. That'll hurt. DDT. Oh, boy, he is rolling. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Uh-oh. Here it is. Oh, nasty impact. The champion into the cover. What is keeping this competitor going? It's going to take more than that. to the neck. This could end it in a hurry. Just a step quicker, it looks like. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Nailed it. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Escapes trouble there. Here he goes. Rock bottom! Here's his moment. Michael. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky talk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. And we all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great. Of course, though, it wasn't so great for the honky talk man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. What's he going to do with it? Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. 
I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Stone Cold Stutter! It's over! This one is over. A second time. Rock bottom! Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Looking for the finish. Don't you dare get up, man. Not looking good for the champ here. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, and he reverses it. He looks for it once again. Stunner! Delivered. The champ needs to hurry here. Just as ruthless as the first time we saw. The champion retains. The champion retains. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here is your winner and still All-Star Heavyweight Champion, David A. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.